Hello YouTube. Let's see if I can go wide angle on this. Looks like we can't. Looks like uh, this is it. Um, as you can see, I have uh, got the computer working in good vibrations, which is a Stealth Micro Camper. It is a um, 2005 Pontiac Vibe, and I've named it Good Vibrations. Um, testing out the office mode and entertainment mode using the computer system. I know uh, some people think that installing a TV was overkill. But it's not just a regular TV, it's actually a computer monitor with composite input, also to input. Hey Van Life Channel, good to see you on here. What do you think, huh? We got uh, World of Warcraft running right now. So I can actually sit and play and even have a little cooler here if I wanted to have cold drinks. It's almost like being in a house, <laughs> except it's a little small. What you're looking at is, uh, basically, I sent a signal from the, the front computer, which is up there on the little table. Remember my little um, dining table? It also serves as a, a workstation, you know, if you want to just sit and work up there. You don't want to come all the way back here. But if you're playing games and stuff, you might want to sit in a more comfortable seat back here and have, you know, the fan here blowing at you. You could have three fans. You could have that fan if you wanted to and also this other one. I don't know if you guys can hear the, the fans blowing at me right now. but. Basically, just wanted to um, test it out, make sure it would all work. Um, that you know, the bedding and everything could be moved around. The vehicle right now is obviously configured as a um, regular vehicle with um, two passenger seats, and um, you know, the front office is set up. I mean, if I didn't want to do the back, if I just wanted to work on the computer real quick, I could just set up this little table and work from the driver's seat. The computer is running off 120 volts, so it's running through the inverter system right now. The vehicle is generating all the power from the, the battery bank down below. I don't even have the second bank hook up, hooked up yet, but you can see that 120 volts is coming from there. Yeah, so the vehicle right now can carry, uh, you know, both my kids when, when I have visitation and stuff, so. And not only that, they can sit here and play video games. You know, one of them could. So they can play, they can play the, the regular game system as well as computer game. So this right now is on a computer mode. You can see I'm actually connected to the internet. So it's like um, taking a house with you, literally. <laughs> now the internet I have right now, I'm going through the, the campgrounds or the, the RVs location where I'm, I'm at. You know, so what will happen is this, this uh, internet here, you can actually provide yourself using the cell phone if you didn't have uh, free Wi-Fi wherever you're staying. So you can actually turn on your phone to do you know, the, the Wi-Fi waypoint and that will allow you to run the internet on here. So you can see I'm on here as my uh, Sylvanas character, which is a uh, Twink level six out to get the night elves. But I'm not gonna play because I can't play one-handed. And also the internet connection I have through the, um, the one provided here at this RV park, it's not that good. So, I, I don't know if you can see the red there. <laughs> I'd probably get killed if I tried to, to do PvP, so I'm going to log out. I just wanted to show you that it all works. Um, well, let's see, move the mouse here. I even put in, um, I even installed the, what, the emulator on here. So, in addition to having the game system that can play emulated games, did it log out or did it cancel? Log out. I guess it's just taking a long time to log out. Yeah, my um, my connection here. Look, the latency is um, one thousand seven hundred and thirty-nine milliseconds. I would get my butt kicked. So, yeah, van life says that's awesome. I'm jealous. I need to set something like that. And yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, the main thing is. You can use your phone, you know, depending on your data plan, as a Wi-Fi waypoint, and then you just need an inverter that'll handle this. Now, if I was going to play this, I wouldn't really want to play it with just one battery bank. Although I do have the, um, I don't know if you guys saw, I did install the solar panels. So on a sunny day, this is only at 25 watt, but it would somewhat charge up the system. So 
it remains to be tested, but I would feel a lot more confident when I have uh, 200 amp hours of battery instead of just one. Also, some of you may not be aware, I have moved most of my broadcast over to pay it forward. So if you want to keep up, um, you know, with the live streams on what's happening in the Cooking with Denoy episodes, as well as chatting and, and a, a new series I'm starting called uh, Becoming Dollar Tree Dexter, <laughs> you want to go to Pay It Forward. Make sure you hit the subscribe uh, button on the Pay It Forward channel, which is linked in the about of this video and in the information on this video. Um, subscribe to that channel, click the notification bell, and you get the latest updates. That's where I do most of the, uh, the live streams and the updates. I basically will be doing mostly van type stuff here as well as how-to videos. Uh, there wasn't really much to this other than just installing the computer obviously and having it set up in desk mode and having the chair up. But wanted to make sure that I could move everything around, you know, that, that there would be enough room that you could set it all up. Like this was the bedding platform. It comes back here. I do have to do something about this chair though. This chair was squeezed in there. I think I might have to get rid of this one and then get another folding one. Because this one, it kind of sticks out a little bit. So I may have to get rid of this chair, sadly. Because I want to have two chairs so that when I go somewhere with my kids, we can go fishing and, and whatever. You know, and have a, a place for two people to sit and talk and fish. But you can see it does have the, the game system, the Legends game system, so it can play Super Nintendo, Genesis, and main games. But a computer is just a lot more powerful, you know. So, like here, I have the, the computer. Let's see if I, I didn't rig this for me sitting in it. But basically, with the computer here, I can actually um, also emulate from here. So I can run like Atari. I have a shortcut here for emulators. We're going to go to like a Commodore 64. So I can do, oops, let's go to Vice. I don't know if you guys are, are familiar with Vice. Vice is a um, like a Commodore emulator, so I'm gonna try to go into Vice here and try to run uh, Commodore 64. Let's see here. We're gonna go to where is it here? Kind of hard to do this. Oh, this isn't a touch screen. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. We're gonna go to the 64. Vice emulator allows you to emulate all Commodore machines. So. Some people were saying, why have a computer do stuff? Well, a computer is just a lot more powerful than that game system. Because I can, I can emulate MAME, I can emulate computers. In this case, we're emulating a Commodore 64. And I'm going to try to show you some of the stuff I can do on here. Um, and I'm going to be doing some development and stuff for the Commodore. Let's try to get... Let's do um, Mule. I like Mule. There we go. Let's do Mule. So I can play Commodore 64 games. I can do everything on here. And we'll go to the back and, and look at it over here. But basically, I can I can emulate um, whole computers. I think this thing takes a long time to start up for some reason. I probably need to set it. I don't know why. It could have crashed. Time. I think Mule takes a long time to, um, to start up after it loads. But you can see I can run a Commodore 64, I can run a Commodore 128, I can run VIC-20. I'm actually going to be developing stuff for the VIC-20 again, finishing up a 38-year-old game that I started since I was a kid. Um, you know, just one of the last, I'm closing things out basically. I, mean, I want to finish up that game that I wrote 38 years ago and didn't finish. And also, um, I can run Atari emulators may install an Amiga emulator. The computer I have is actually very old, so I don't know how well it'll run on Amiga and stuff, but for, uh, my test of it, it runs the Commodore 64, the VIC-20 and stuff just fine. It also runs the Atari 2600 just fine. Super Nintendo it can run. So a computer's just a lot more versatile than a pre-canned game system. You know, the pre-canned game system just basically runs emulators also, and it's self-contained. There goes Mule. The, the, the power of having um, a computer is you just can do a lot more. I can also do some work like word processing and programming and whatever I need to do on a computer. Uh, with the game system, you have the convenience of you can just flip a button to turn it on and off. You don't have to start, shut down, start the emulator, do all this other weird stuff. You know, 
it's just a lot easier to, to run games on a, a game emulator than running it on a computer, but I could run the same stuff on the computer. So if I didn't want the game system, I could just run everything on the computer. I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful for those of you trying to design a system. It, it really isn't too complicated. The main thing you need is you need a, a, a vehicle battery system that can charge up either through solar or through the alternator. And then you hook up an inverter that gives you 120 volt power. Um, and then from the 120 volt power, you, you know, you can go to a multi-plug outlet and then you can plug in your computer system. And for Wi-Fi access, you basically just use um, a Wi-Fi waypoint from your phone. Or if you're at a park or a campground or an RV, mobile home spot or whatever, you can connect to their Wi-Fi if they allow you to. And as far as running this kind of stuff, just look up um, like um, emulator, you know, like different computer system emulators. If you like arcade games, look up a, a thing called MAME, M-A-M-E, and you can download it for your particular computer. Uh, the Van Life wants that Van Life channel wants to know if I'll have Patreon for the other uh, for the other channel. Now Patreon, I, I don't know. They might. What's going to happen with Pay It Forward once it gets up and running? I'm trying to get it going so it can get monetized. I will probably sign it over to several people. Um, it's already signed up to several people right now, and I'm kind of on there right now, just trying to make sure it gets going and trying to get it monetized so it can generate money for itself from ad revenue. Uh, as far as Patreon, I don't think people will do Patreon. They might. That's going to be dependent on the, um, I, I guess you'd call them like the board of directors, the people who will be running it. But for me, I will probably do a, a, may do a Patreon for game design. Because some of the games I'm going to be doing are, are um, stuff that other companies aren't doing. Like, you know, writing games that allow viewers, people who contribute, to appear in the game. <laughs> Might even do a game called Living in a Van. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> You, you get to you get to try to to rig up your van and install all these components like a right you got to track down the rice cooker the inverter and you, you drive around the compound looking for components meanwhile you got to avoid all the cops and the trolls and the haters <laughs> hey Bob Leclerc good to see you on here man I haven't seen you in a while all right, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Just wanted to remind you, if you haven't already done so, make sure you go to Pay It Forward, hit the subscribe button to that, tap the notification bell, latest updates. Most of the stuff I do on there um, have to do with me and stuff, you know, like the, the vlog type stuff. Um, this, the things that are going to be on this channel will mostly be van or car or RV related or how-to type videos. So we're moving the, the, the long chats and stuff to the other channel. I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope you're all having a great day wherever you are, and I hope you found this video uh, informative, if not entertaining. Um, hopefully, it'll give you some ideas on what you can do, and um, it's really not that hard. So, until next time, everyone, take care. God bless you all. Please stay safe. Bye-bye now.